So this is a top eight qualifier from loser side. Yeah. Our loser side top eight, losers round five, as we are informed that it's not a volleyball, it's a soccer ball, which is a, for Wii Fit at least. It's a medicine ball. It's a ball. <laughs> it's a ball. It's Raymond Ball. Mm, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Um, I knew you would riff on it eventually. <laughs> it's so, it's so easy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get to this game here. So I'm really excited to see this. Earlier we saw Bonkai on stream where he was playing, um, ooh, okay, cool. Uh, where he was playing his uh, his ZSS against Pokalam. Had an amazingly close game three, three games with uh, with him. Now he's on the loser side of things trying to claw his way back up to top eight. Now playing opting to go Pokemon trainer versus Virgo's uh, Shulk, who we also saw on the, uh, oh my, oh, that's, that's very dead. And finding yourself in the wrong art at the wrong time always makes you wonder like, oh man, if I had just primed another art, then I would be, I could be safe as you know, that's something that Shulk can do. He can just kind of switch, switch to whatever art he fits the bill, but it looks like Bankai is I mean, at the very least, very ready for what's coming as you're at 42, but it's also Charizard and you're in Smash Art. You could die to one back throw. <laughs> oh, I think Smash Art ran out at the last possible second as the dash attack did not actually kill. And because of that, now Bankai continues to live at 167%. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It, you know, it's a little things, but we've seen that setup happen so much. Uh, for uh, other PT mains and other Charizard players like Beast, who we see in chat. Um, but good awareness on Virgo's part to roll in and completely avoid that, because you don't want to get caught by Flare Blitz at any point in the match. Downer? No. Okay. Great a tie. Early. Yeah, no, really smart to delay it as much as possible from Virgo. And now he, so yes, he is down by quite a considerable bit, but um, as we said before, Shulk's, uh, was that shield? That was shield art. Was shield or was that because the multi-hit messed up? No, that was shield Ooh. art. But that shield was artist. jump art. Yeah, yeah. Great job catching him. Like <laughs> That was almost like a ZSS-esque up B. We saw him doing that earlier against Pokelam using uh, the up B to catch people when they were trying to jump in and right there doing it with Charizard move maybe, maybe not as good but in that situation can function quite the same and having this lead here is pretty huge because now you kind of don't have to deal with Shulk just running around putting but pushing buttons on you right, being very careful looking to utilize this shield art to outrun Bankai but he only he has no arts on deck after this jump art runs out so he's gonna have to make the most of it and jump art okay yeah understandably utilizing while it's a short timer you can run away from people forever with jump art wow you're super dead no you're not you're alive you're super undead you're super for real oh now you're super dead <laughs> can we talk about that hitbox can we get a freeze frame on that he was in smash art too he was Oh, like ultra mega super prefix dead. Oh, yeah, no, did not die there. Uh, yeah, he got out of Smash Art, but oh yeah, look at he this. got out of Smash Art. I, I understand. I understand. There's some hurt box shifting going on and all that, but um, hmm. huh? Hmm. You don't say. Can I just say that I love that Charizard's down smash is like his secret fourth taunt? Because <laughs> he's Rawr. just he's just having a good time. He, he do big. He flapped in his wings too. Yeah, he's hyped. Yeah, I do want to point out in that situation, uh, just because uh, I think this is something that some people uh, gloss over uh, versus like flamethrower, is that when you get ticked like that and then you have to go up again, you can't grab the ledge for 55 frames. So if you have to go up uh, again, you're not gonna snap, and that's why you put out the big hit box and you send them flying. Shades of Smash 4 Cloud there, too, because not only could he not grab the ledge because of that, just hitting below ledge on a recovery that if you're too low for the initial rise to grab ledge with Shulk, then you have to commit to the... Well, then you just won't you won't snap at all unless you do the air slash, uh, the second slash. So it's... 
it's a little bit it's a little bit taxing and that's kind of where charizard can really punish you like charizard has infinite ways to kill you regardless but oh man <laughs> make it bankai making this matchup go easy <laughs> oh we're on why are we on this stage uh i mean uh, I mean, no, 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 no sentiment to, uh, to uh, be. I'm actually a huge fan. I just figured it would be banned if you're Bunkai, but. Oh, no. actually, I was thinking this stage is pretty good for Pokemon. Player. Normal ceiling with top platform. Zard up throw always on lock. On oh, on. fair. Not only that, but like you do have things like Ivysaur up B and having access to those platforms with like up air. There are plenty of ways that I think this is a perfectly fine stage for a Pokemon. Hmm, then why would you counterpick if you're Perko? Well, that's a that maybe is a, a better question. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Damn, he got him. Oh, I like Oops. using the reverse hit of the neutral air. That move just sweeps all around Shulk, and we're seeing how that's so great, actually, because the late hit, I believe, is the best for comboing that. Uh, I mean, yeah, either the early or the late hit, but it's, especially in speed art, you want to make use of neutral air to chain it into itself. Uh, and I like the counterplay that Bankai showed off against shield art. He's been using a, a seldom seed move, the Ivysaur Bullet Seed, just to smother Virgo while he's in shield. Because whether you don't, whether you take less hit center or not, it's a repeated hitbox. Now, Bonkai's, one of the things I really like about Bonkai's Pokemon trainer is he is not scared to switch. A lot of Pokemon trainers will like, ooh. Yeah, but a lot of Pokemon trainers will, uh, you know, play the, like they're like, I am Ivysaur now. And I'm Ivysaur until I die or I'm at 150%. No, Bankai is definitely, if he feels like he's in a position where he can switch, and either the switch itself will give him advantage, or just changing characters in the right spot will benefit him, he's not scared of cycling through. Okay, that's a punish. The backslash is still a pretty solid punch if you can get its properly, uh, its proper hit on the back. That makes sense. His shell is on his back. It hurt. It's still, it's still big hurt. The power of anime compels. Uh oh. Technically, uh, Squirtle is also anime. Oh. Whoa! Oh. But I guess Pokemon is a little bit more anime, I guess. Proving it with that downer. Stomping Shulk's recovery, and it's kind of where Bankai made a lot of ground throughout the game one and game two. He's like, I'm going to punish Air Slash if it's the last thing I do. And here he is, punishing Air Slash. Ooh. Even got the tech too, but using his jump too soon. Bro, he air dodged. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> hey, I think he probably thought he had a jump, 